father and mother figures and they get angry. I've got daughters and sons. If I try to say something to them, they just get their back up and get peed. Uh, so I understand that. So I, I, I say these things to you um, forewarned. Uh, it's not going to endear me to you. I do understand. Starting from fish-shaped Pomona, where I was born, what's Pomona? Place? Yeah. What is what place? It's an huh? It's an nah. Don't guess. Anyone know? Well, you haven't read this, I can see. I haven't even looked at it. Long Island. He's talking about Long Island. Well, a lot of you don't even know what Long Island is, but if you come from the east coast of this country. Long Island is this long jutting piece of land that goes out from New York uh, like a Long Island. And it's, uh, it's a famous place on the East Coast. And why does he call it uh, fish shaped Pominoff? Because he knows Pominoff was the Indian name for it. He likes to use Native American Indian names for geographical features. And he was born in Long Island, or on Long Island. That's where he was born. That's where he started out. And he likes to use poetic well begotten, raised by a perfect mother, roaming many lands, lover of populous pavements, dweller in Manhattan. That's, he doesn't like to, he never even, I don't think he ever says New York. He never speaks, he never uses the word. He likes the Indian word. He doesn't even often say Manhattan. He calls it Manhattan because that was the Indian word for the central part of New York, Manhattan. Dweller in Manhattan, my city, or in southern savannas, he took trips down to the south of uh, Louisiana and places. Or a soldier camp then carrying my knapsack and gun, or a miner in California, he likes to picture the whole country. Or root in my home in Dakota's woods, uh, my diet, my drink from the spring, or withdrawn to muse and meditate in some deep recess, or or, or near the flowing Missouri, or aware of the Niagara, or the buffalo herds, or whatever it is, or the five-month flowers. What are five-month flowers? May. May. Fifth-month flower. Maybe probably <coughs> daffodils. In the East, there would be daffodils and lilacs and uh, flowers we don't get in California. We're not as seasonal as the East is, or the, up to the Rocky Mountains. It's similar. But once you cross the Rockies to the Pacific Coast climate, it's different. And uh, having studied the mockingbird's tones and the flight of the mountain hawk, well, we have mockingbirds <coughs> in, um, in, 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 out here in California. And her at dawn, the unrivaled one, the hermit thrush from the swamp cedars. He'll talk about that hermit thrush in his Lincoln home. Quite interested in that particular bird. Look here, section six. The soul, forever and ever, longer than soil, is brown and solid, longer than water ebbs and flows. I will make poems of materials, etc., etc. Seven. A lot of gab and gabble here. Omnis, omnis, let others ignore what they may. I make the poem of evil also. Here it is. That's another reason why he would take the cats. I don't just talk about good, I talk about evil, like Howard Stern or somebody. Uh, I see he's going off the radio and go, to, go on a different network, good, good riddance. I commemorate that part also. I am myself just as much evil as good, and my nation is. And I say there is in fact no evil. Or if there is, I say it's just important to you, to the land, or to me, as to anything else. I too, following many, and followed by many, inaugurate a religion there. He is aware that he is inaugurating a religion. But what religion? The religion of America. Descend in the arena. Maybe I am destined, and that's what 